Hey yo, my name is Eric, and this is a side project. So, a couple weeks ago, my mom called me up and she asked if I could build a chicken door coop opener. Now, being the practical person that I am, I didn't want to drop 300 bucks on the cheapest thing I could find on Amazon. So, I figured, hey ma, I could probably build this for like 100 bucks, right? So, she's like, alright, here's the go ahead, um, see what you can do. So, being the tinker and someone who really likes electronics, I got an Arduino, some resistors, and some other gizmos and gadgets together, and I figured, alright, well, if the door's gonna cost 50 bucks, then I have a 50 buck budget. So, starting out, a 10k resistor, I got a photodiode, and Arduino Uno, and that's all you need for a sensor. Hook it up to a breadboard, and you just look for high values when it's bright and low values when it's dark. Once you got that all set up, you want to test it out. And that's what I did. Awkward music pause. Anyhow, that circuit works, but it's kind of ugly, so I decided to clean it up a little bit, and essentially that means just trimming down the wire so that they're flush with the breadboard. Uh, it doesn't really do anything except improve the aesthetics and make sure that the individual pieces don't fall out as easily. Now you notice that it takes up a lot less space, which means I just have a lot of wasted breadboard, which is kind of unfortunate. The uh, next step for me here was to get a motor connected. So this guy is a stepper motor, uh, comes with its own little controller module, and I rigged up some example code on Arduino to just get this rolling. And as you can see, it starts turning. So clearly it works. But now I actually need to start controlling it. So this is where this comes in. Now that I've got this all rigged up, uh, I want to start connecting it to a power source. So if I'm in a chicken coop outside, I don't have access to wall outlet. But I also got to build this thing. So here we go, taking a door, cut it away already and putting it back on. So the little slot is where the chicken coop door opener is gonna go. And specifically, it's gonna be like a sliding door mechanism, kind of like a French guillotine. Uh, purely harmless though. So as you can see, a lot of birds around, just chilling, hanging out. And I'm in the background just trying to figure out how I can get this all set up. One of the things that I didn't realize when I was recording this was there's a lot of footage that goes into this kind of stuff, and 16 gigabyte memory card can't really fit it all. So, it's a couple cuts, a couple skips and jumps, but we'll get there. Right now I'm just screwing on the, or unscrewing the little hinge on the door that originally locked things in place. And what I'm gonna do is put these little sliders, uh, these little side berries on, so that I can put the sliding door right in. I quickly realized though that I actually need to center tap these holes. So tapping holes just means putting a smaller hole inside before you start screwing something inside. It makes it a little bit easier, especially with something like a, a standard screw. And that's because screws, if you just keep screwing them, they won't actually make a hole unless you have a special wood tapping screw. So I did that for all four of these little holes. And over the course of like probably the next two minutes at 10x speed, you'll start to see this come together. So, it took quite a bit of time. And there we go. So this is the door. As you can see, it slides up and down. And the really neat thing about this door design is the screws are actually... The screws on the bottom of each of the side hinges actually help keep the door in place. So the top hinges don't interfere with the door going up and down, but the bottom ones do. Uh, so if you actually install this in the wrong way, it doesn't work. But as you can see, door slowly opens and voila, chicken door opener, cool stuff.